lovely subscribers. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. Hope you guys are all doing fine. So here is a neutral look video. These three eye makeups I have been wearing for so many years and they have suited me a lot. The thing that I like about these looks is that they make your eyes look very soft and fresh and young. So that's what I really like about these looks. So hope you guys like it. So here are the three looks. Okay, so I've already done my uh, foundation, all of that, lipstick, blush, everything, just uh, I'm going to start with my eyes. And on my lips I have Lacme Lip Loves um, Lip Conditioner in Siren. That's how it looks. That's Siren. It's a very highly pigmented uh, orangey coral lip balm. First of all, I start by priming my eyes with Urban Decay Primer Potion. Next, I'm going to use my NYX eyeshadow base in Skin Tone and apply that all over my eyes by just, you know, dabbing and applying. For this eye look, I'm going to use my 88 Warm Palette. Well, for all the three looks, I'm going to use this palette only because this is my everyday uh, palette. So I'm going to start with a color that is here. This is a color, this is actually a coral uh, peach color. I'm going to use Sigma's Large Fluffy Brush in E50. I'm going to apply it on my lid and the crease. It's like a complete color wash off. And this brush is just great to apply it in one swipe. Just dabbing it and then applying it. The next step is I'm going to take a Sigma's pencil brush in number E30. And I'm going to pick the same color and apply it on the lower waterline. I mean lower lid, not the waterline, sorry. Okay, next thing is I'm going to highlight my brows and my inner corners uh, of my eye. This is because I'm, I have closed the eyes and I'm just trying to highlight it to kind of look a bit far away. But if you already have far set eyes, don't do this step. I'm going to use this color here, which is my highlight color. I'm using Cupcake Cutie's blender brush. Peach color eyeshadow actually makes you look uh, very soft, natural and very radiant. It really makes you look fresh. So just a color wash of this one color is really, really beautiful in the morning. So now I'm going to line my eyes. I'm going to take the same warm palette and I'm going to take this dark brown color here. There you go. That's the dark brown color. And I'm going to take this really thin angle brush. Make sure you uh, sp spray water or mixing medium. The thing is, the brush has to be wet. And I'm going very close to the lash line. I'm just pressing, okay? I'm just not moving. I'm just pressing the liner, okay? As I'm teaching you guys, it looks as if, you know, uh, it's going to take forever, but the fact is, I, it just takes, you know, hardly three minutes to do my eyes. It's very, very simple. You know, just do it like a winged, not a winged liner, but just prolong it outside, that's it. I'm going to take the same and apply very close on the outer corners. I'm not going to go to, uh, I mean, too much inner. It's okay if you guys do not want mascara in the morning, but still, curling your lashes, very important. Hold it for at least, you know, five seconds. I'm just going to add a very, very little amount of mascara. I'm using NYX Doll Eye Mascara. Don't 
gel and just brushing the lashes and just brushing the lashes so yeah guys, this is my first eye makeup look. Hope you guys like it. It's a very, very soft and beautiful eye makeup. So, okay, let's go to the second one. Okay, the second eye makeup look. In this, I've done the same thing from the first look. Is that the eyeshadow and um, highlighting my brow bone. All that is same. A little bit of change from the first one. Again, take a... Uh, angle liner brush and I'm gonna dip it in the same brown eyeshadow now I forgot to press the record button and I missed one step and it's actually I took the same angle brush and I took the same dark brown color that I used in the first look so I just eyelined my eyes using that dark brown color I'm gonna take this pencil brush from Sigma which is E30 I'm just gonna blend out that dark brown color outside just don't go too far up just a very light uh, smudging after that I'm gonna take in glass gel liner in number 77 it's actually a matte black gel liner and I'm gonna line my eyes Just protruding it outside. I'm not doing any winged liner. Very thin on the inner corners. Supply so mascara very, very gently. I don't like too much of mascara in the morning. So yes, the second look is done. Okay, third look. And for this I'm going to use the same 88 Warm palette and I'm going to take this color here, which is my highlight color. And I'm going to take Sigma's E shading in E55. And I'm going to apply this on the inner lid. I mean two thirds of my lid. Just dabbing it. And also my brow bone. And also on the lower lid. Okay, the next color I'm going to use is this brown color here. And I'm going to take this black crease brush from Coastal Sands. And I'm going to apply this brown on the outer corners. Just dabbing it. I'm going to take the same pencil brush from Sigma, which is E30, and I'm going to apply that on the outer corners. I'm going to take the taper blending brush from Sigma, which is E40. I'm just going to blend all that dark brown well with that lid color. It's a really, really nice blending brush. Next, I'm going to line my eyes using the same 77 um, Inglot Matcha Liner. Thin on the inner corner and broad on the outer corners. I'm going to bring the same liner just outside, very, very lightly. So finally, curl lashes, apply mascara. Just very lightly I'm applying mascara. So yeah, 
guys, all the three looks are done. Hope you guys like it. The All the three looks are very soft and neutral. Very perfect to wear in the morning. So, hope you guys like the looks. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Bye.